Welcome back, beer tubers. Ryan here, back with another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to be looking at a beer that was sent to me from Peter, the master of hoppets, here on YouTube. He sent me out Beer Here's SOD, Scandinavian style porter. So I don't know anything about this other than they're calling it a Scandinavian style porter and 7.5%. Uh, the beer here is imported into the US through the Shelton Brothers, so you might be able to find this in some of your better beer shops, but uh, I haven't really looked for it, but Peter sent it out to me, so expecting it to be a pretty good beer if he uh, shipped it all the way from Denmark. Looks like it's pretty highly carbonated. Got about almost three fingers of light brown head on there. Didn't pour out too dark. Um, didn't pour out too dark. It has some mahogany edges to it. It's uh, kind of, yeah, what you expect a higher, more robust porter to look like. It's definitely not completely black. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's got a lot of porter characteristics. Smells good. Uh, a ton of dark fruits is the first thing I notice. There's a uh, raisin. There's this almost cherry red berry note to it. Then you're certainly getting some, some coffee roastiness. That black malt, which is almost smoky, comes through. There's also some darker chocolate and even milk chocolate notes. Underneath all that, there's a bit of a sweet breadiness to it as well. So, smelling good. Let's dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's good stuff. Very nice. Mouth feels uh, fairly big on this beer. Cuts your mouth pretty well. It's a medium full body beer, but it doesn't drink like 7.5% despite that. First thing I noticed on the flavor itself is actually a good hop character, a lot of earthiness. Wasn't picking up any of that on the nose. Malts were dominating, but I get this bit of bitter, earthy, like a fuggal type of hop character up front. And that's the first thing I'm hit with. And then it becomes sweet in the middle of the palate and then nice and uh, dry on the back end. I was looking at the label and they have the ingredients in Danish, but there's there's more than four in here, so I'm not sure. I know one for sure is malt. Um, the, the rest I don't even want to try to pronounce. So I don't know if they're using any traditional Scandinavian ingredients, maybe like a juniper berry, because I'm maybe starting to get like a tinge of that kind of piney juniper berry kind of character to the beer up front to go with that earthiness. After those hops fade, so after that initial bitterness, the sweetness comes forward, big caramel notes, sweet bread. There's that, that raisin dark fruit character in there as well. Right after that's this that sort of red berry, almost cherry note to it, maybe a yeast ester or something coming from the caramel malts. And then it finishes with a lot of a darker roast character. There's it was a little sweeter, like a more sweeter chocolate on the nose, but on the flavor, you get this darker chocolate, this roastiness, almost a smoky burnt finish to it. So the carbonation level is a bit high for the style, but it's not too distracting. The more I drink it, the more uh, bitterness character I get from it. The more it's drying on me. Earlier on, I was getting much of a, a sweeter character to the beer, so it's changed a bit since I first opened it. Fairly well balanced beer though overall, so uh, recommend checking this one out. I, I don't know what you quite call this other than well, what they call it, a Scandinavian style porter. It, it definitely has a little bit of an American tinge to it, being definitely hoppier than the English style for sure. But uh, I recommend checking it out. Uh, nice drinking beer, good flavors in there. Thanks to Peter for sending it out to me. It's gonna wrap it up. Until next time, please comment, subscribe. Cheers.